You think you know Louie? Well, here's 10 things you may not have known about everyone's favorite comedian with a heart of... Well, probably pizza. What a douchebag your body is. <laughs> that it takes 20 minutes. What's taken 20 minutes to get... If I stub my toe, I know it immediately. And that's twice the distance. Louis is written, directed, and even edited by Louis C.K. Louis is the sole writer and director, which is highly unique for a television show. Let's get this one out of the way real quick. A passerby gives the middle finger to the camera in the show's opening. We're assuming this was done on accident, but Louis kept it in. He seems to be handling it pretty well, but Louis is giving that guy a real solid stink eye, so we're not sure. Jesus. That is, you don't need a doctor, you need a time machine. Did no one tell you that tits are meant to be on women, not men? What is that? Come on, man. <laughs> Prior to creating and starring in this FX series, Louis created and starred in a short-lived HBO sitcom called Lucky Louis. A reference is made to Lucky Louis in the episode Oh Louis Slash Tickets, wherein Louis is seen complaining about the show's poorly written dialogue. Pamela Adelin played his wife on the show. She appears in Louis as his playdate friend Pamela, and she's also a producer on Louis. When FX offered to produce a pilot of the show, Louis negotiated for a smaller production budget of $200,000 in order to maintain complete creative control of the show. Louis described his pitch as, quote, let me shoot a pilot and you don't have to do anything with it. I won't even pitch you the idea or show you the script or show you the footage or show you the casting. Just wire me the money and let me do the show. FX was pleased with this arrangement and agreed with Louis to continue producing the show in this manner. So what's in this bottle? Lube. Lube? Yes, it's lubricant for masturbating with. It's technically made for sex, but I have personally never used it that way. I use it to masturbate with. The budget was bumped up slightly to $300,000 in the second season. The first season of Louis was filmed on Louis C.K.'s personal Red One camera, deciding early on that the 4K capabilities of the camera would be best to capture his show. The later seasons of the show were shot on a Red Epic, which Louis also purchased, and a set of Zeiss Prime Ultra lenses, which he also owns. Either of these camera packages easily cost six figures. The theme song, Brother Louie, was a hit in 1973 by the band Stories, and was updated and produced by comedian Reggie Watts for Louie specifically. It cost 5000 per episode to license the theme. Come on. Come on. Can you try? Come on. Come on, buddy, try. Come on. No? The show often foregoes a season-long narrative in favor of bottle episodes described by Louis as, quote, very vignette very verite, all those French words, I use them all. Typically, episodes revolve around two storylines, and occasionally, a single storyline comprising of numerous vignettes. From season three on, the show has had more multi-episode narratives and even begun a season-long story arc. Louis edited all of the show's episodes until season three, when he began to work with longtime Woody Allen editor Susan E. Morse. An additional element that separates this show from a normal television show is that the production only shoots three days a week. This is because Louis has custody of his daughters on the other four days and wants to spend time with them. Come on, who doesn't love their mother? <laughs> and here's a bonus one. Louis' family has gone through a variety of changes. His mom is portrayed by two different actresses in the first season. He has a brother in season one, and we learned that in season two, he has two sisters. Amy Poehler came on as an apparent third sister in season three. None of these siblings are really mentioned or shown in flashback episodes that portray Louis' childhood. His daughter Jane has been portrayed by two different actresses. Also, Louis' ex-wife is portrayed by an African-American woman, and both of his daughters are white. Louis has said that he doesn't care about this lack of continuity. You okay, kids, right? Yeah, yeah, I have two girls. Um. What? You have girls, that's cute. Well, have you seen them, or? That's it for this episode of You Think You Know TV. Make sure you subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.